cutting, carving, burning, and painting. First thing you have to do is lay out a feather pattern. Designed by nature and duplicated by Ted Jarvis, these are more than just decoy hunting birds. You literally go along the edge of it. I started it as a fill. I, w I wanted to have something to do when I retired. Ted started carving as everyone does, as a novice. And gradually, he moved his way up through the ranks to become an expert class bird carver. So I made um, five birds in three years, and I went from the bottom to the top. So <laughs> I thought, gee, you can do this, you know. At 85, Ted has dominated the bird carving scene. He's traveled all over the West Coast showing his creations at competitions, and he's taken home gold medals, best of show ribbons, and People's Choice Awards for his amazingly intricate carvings. The People's Choice, I figure, is the, the top of the line because everybody that comes into the show vote and they say that one. But you have two or three judges and they say that one. That's only two or three judges. From his days as a hunter, Ted has studied old stuffed birds to learn how to cut and carve out nature's delicate designs into a block of wood. And it's on an older bird. The older birds, they've been out there longer and obviously they, they start to get that right edge on them. So I gradually quit hunting. And then getting older, I couldn't walk as well as I used to. And so I just kept concentrating more and more and more on carving, and that's where we are. What happens then is you end up with a pattern, like in there. You can see all the feathers, and you have to all be ground off with that guess wine. I used to be able to do eight hours a day, but uh, now if I, I do two or three, four hours in the morning sort of thing, and that's my day. But I can accomplish a lot now in an hour, but when I started, it would take me a week to do what I can do in an hour now. Each carving takes countless hours of work and dedication. A hawk that I did, and it took me about four months, I would guess, in total. And it's got 45 inserts in it, like tail feathers and wing feathers. And, and as I get larger, it takes longer, obviously. But what is it about birds that make them such fascinating carving subjects? Birds means a hummingbird, birds means a quail, birds means a hawk, birds means, what do we say, uh, your eagles, different eagles, you know, they all get bigger and bigger. So birds means thousands of things, not just two or three oh, birds. What that does, it takes all the high spots off, but you have to paint this after, and it wears the feathers, feathers wear. Becoming an award-winning carver clearly takes dedication, but it's about more than that. What Ted has is a passion. That higher level gives you more of a, look what I did sort of thing. Everybody should have some sort of a name in life. Everybody. <laughs> From the Cowichan Valley, I'm Meg Cuthbert.